Hi, this is Tom from Blue Dot, and today we're going to check out how to factory reset the Samsung Charge. Uh, first thing you're going to do is wake it up. Now, the reasons you might want to factory data reset your phone is if uh, you download an application that's not playing nice with another application, it's making it bug out, and nothing is fixing it. Um, another reason could be that you wanted to sell your phone um, and you want all your personal data off of it. You don't want people to get your personal text messages or, um, or connection to any of your applications that might have uh, credit card numbers or anything on it. So the easiest way to just completely wipe your phone out is the factory data reset. Now the first thing you want to do is press the options button, go to settings, and the factory data reset sometimes is hidden on Androids. Uh, it occasionally be in privacy, sometimes it'll be in applications. Um, this one is in privacy. 80% um, of the time it'll be in privacy. Um, I guess the logic behind that is that you want to, when you factory data reset something to resell it, you're getting rid of all your private data, so it's private. Um, so all you do is just select factory data reset and you just hit reset phone and it's as easy as that and when you hit that you give it'll just tell you right off the bat it's going to erase everything applications text messages backgrounds any type of pictures that are stored physically on the phone and not on their SD card it'll erase everything um, so let's do that and it will turn off and boot up again. Uh, when it turns on, it'll be as if you just got this phone out of the box. There will be nothing on it. It'll be free and clear. Um, and you can either resell it or start anew if you've downloaded apps that kind of mess with it. That concludes our multi-part how-to for a Samsung Droid Charge. My name is Tom from the Blue Dot, and thanks for watching.